timing is very important. And to help us understand timing, I wanna go through my mango theory. Now, you're probably all over the world, and so I'm just wondering, can you buy a mango at your local store right now? Now, if you're in very developed countries, I'm guessing that you can. But did your country grow that mango? And again, I don't know where you are. I'm in the United States. Let's say I'm in Virginia. And if I'm in Virginia in the United States and I go to the grocery store, I certainly did not grow that mango in Virginia, okay? So where did it come from? Well, this is a global market, right? So it, I did some research and a lot of America's mangoes get imported from Brazil. So two weeks ago, that mango was in Brazil. It was on a tree in Brazil. And I think at that point in time, all of us would say, that is a Brazilian mango. Like, there's no doubt, right? We would say that mango from Brazil. Got it. Okay. Well, then someone picks the mango off the tree and they put it on a boat. And now that boat is out at sea eight days ago. So whose mango is it then? And you might say, oh, well, it's still a Brazilian mango. Just because it's at sea, it doesn't mean it's not a Brazilian mango. Okay, we'll take that. Well, then it lands in the United States, likely in Texas, and then it gets on a truck and it starts to drive to Virginia. So then whose mango is it? Is it a Texas mango for that time that's in Texas and then belonging to each state as it crosses the United States? It's hard to say, right? Is it still a Brazilian mango? So this is the problem, right? It gets all the way to the grocery store in Virginia and maybe we'll even find it on the shelf. How do we know where it's from? And that's why timing is so important. We're looking at your DNA over a long span of time. And so telling you where you're from, honestly, it depends a lot on where, um, on when you're asking, not just where you're asking, right? So timing is a huge, huge factor.